Well, it's been six months, right? So, I'm thinking. Whoa, about time, dude. Does Anya know? Okay, okay. I'm a skilled moth collector, and now that we'll be away from street lamps, I'll get better results. Hey, kid. Um, my name is Connor. Hey, Connor, shut up. But I was just telling them about my moth collection. Don't make me pound you. I get to go. Why? It's an educational opportunity. And I told Dad you'd keep an eye on me. The thing is that there might be different activities for different grades I might not be able to. But your top priority will be to look after your sister, won't it? Yes, my father. Good. Thought you hated camping. I do. Bugs, cold, wet. So why? Because I'm going to catch something and it won't be bugs. You like someone. Who? I'll let you know if things work out, but Sav can't know. Why not? He's got a whole different set of rules than I do. But your parents let you come on the trip. Only because I sold everyone a family dinner with the whole educational value. Family dinner. <laughs> Uh, who's there? Oh, you know, everyone, aunts, uncles, cousins. So boring. Come on. Everyone's waiting. All right, everyone, welcome to the Degrassi Ecology Awareness Trip. Woohoo! Now, you all have to fill out these forms to assess your carbon footprint on the planet. Um, where is Ali and Anya? Uh, they'll be right back. What are you reading? A book. That's a joke, right? That would be correct. You ready to celebrate our six month? That's handy. Now we can say we went out for exactly six months. I, I don't follow. Your last family gathering didn't include me. Allie. Didn't mean to spill the beans. We're done. Do they give refunds on condoms? assignment guidelines closely. They can be found online on the class website. And let Mr. Zilberman, your TA, know if you have any trouble logging in. Uh, please settle down, everyone. Take your seats. Oh, thanks. Can't have the roomie going hungry. You're the best. Now, I want you to pick a partner, and you will work through a personality compatibility test. He's taken. And then give a non-clinical psychological report, OK? Now, if somebody can hit the lights, uh, let's get started. Environmental group expanded their program. And local volunteers joined the community. I'm freezing. Are you guys cold? Shh. How's that? Thanks. 
So grab your belongings, set up your camp, and then we'll start our game of survival. Okay, now remember, you're gonna be divided into herbivores, omnivores, and carnivores, and the only way you can win is to be alive at the end of the game, all right? You're gonna freeze me out this whole trip? Listen, I wanted to invite you, but my uncle just lost his job. It didn't really seem like the best time. I, I wrote a song for you. Uh, I'll sing it to you if you let me. A song? I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Let's never break up again, okay? Water and food stations hidden in the woods that you must find to fulfill your animal's needs, okay? And I'll be here if you or your animal needs help. Right here at base camp. So tonight, out in the woods, kind of romantic, huh? Oh, look, another water station. Now we only have to find one more. Six months. That's a long time. Well, people have cared for each other for that long. There you guys are. You're supposed to be with your friends. Ah, uh, come on, Dad. You know, it's actually a fun game, Allie. Look, you're an omnivore, and you can tag Saz and I and get two life tags. Um, did you mark your card with this water station? <sighs> so, Em, you know how we have that no roommate dating policy? You can't date Kelly. Well, be discreet. It's not a question of discretion. Great. You like him, too? Well, yeah. And he's made it clear that he's interested, too. I don't know, hon. He's been sending me some pretty strong signals. Oh, come on. You've got the history symposium guy and the library vending machine guy. Kelly is the first decent guy that I've met here. You always go for the guys I like. <sighs> Excuse me? Uh, Craig? Uh, we were 12. What about Damien? You dated Damien for five minutes. And then you went out with Jay after me. Uh, I don't know how to put this, but I don't think you actually went out with Jay. Manny! <sighs> Look, this is stupid. We agreed that no one gets Kelly. I guess, but aren't you curious who he'd go for? No. Well, our compatibility assignment could tell us. Well, just for fun, of course. Oh, of course. The white sheet almost looks black because so many moths and other insects land on it. Still boring your friends to death? Getting some spotted moths from my spotted moth tray. Or not. Listen, kid, I'm doing you a favor, right? Nobody wants to hear you talk about spotted moths anymore. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Personally, I uh, hate spotted moths. <laughs> Wanna go for a walk? OK, let's see. Um, I have a very relaxed personality, <clears throat> from very true to very untrue. Very true, I would say. Seriously? I have a very relaxed personality. Kelly has a very relaxed personality. You don't let me eat a waffle if you think it'll cost us the best seats in class. I tend to maintain my spaces in an orderly way. My corner neat, Kelly's neater. Yours looks like a thrift store threw up. Oh, here's a very true for you. I am a domineering person. Me? Or, um. I am attracted to unavailable people. She looks like it's a draw. Hmm. Hot dog? Um, I'm good. Come on. I heard that you and Anya are making out in the woods. That should have given you an appetite. Uh, my dad packed me and my sister some food. Funny that you two are the ones getting all the action. What? 
Word is, you're not the only Bandari who's been busy in the woods. I gotta go. What have you been up to? Johnny broke Hunter's net, but we're looking for moths and other nocturnal fauna. Have you heard your new nickname? No. Backwoods Bandari. They think you hooked up with Johnny. That's awesome. You want them to call you that? Uh, it's cooler than Sav's little sister or <laughs> Niner Geek. You know what? You better go to your tent. Why? I didn't do anything. You're such a hypocrite. I saw the pack of condoms you brought. You have no idea what you're talking about. And you're worried about what people might think about me. Go to your tent, now. You're so unfair. He's just worried about his little sister. It's what big brothers do. <laughs> no, he's worried about our family's reputation. Well, it's because he cares about you. Maybe, but he sounds just like my dad. Is that so terrible? It's hard to explain. You'd get it if you ever met my father. Yeah, wish I could. Me too. Family dinners would be way less boring with you there. Thanks. So what do you think it would take for Sav to introduce me to your parents? <laughs> you being Muslim? <laughs> <laughs> So I wrote this song, yeah, for my one, my only Anya. Dude, you make Peter seem like an awesome songwriter. You think she'll like it? Sadly, yes. Hi, Anya. Hey guys, why don't you come to Shante's tent party? It'll be awesome. Or not. Hmm. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary to you too. Can I play you my Anya song? Of course. Oh, um, but first, I have an anniversary present for you. Um, it's kind of special. Yeah? I want to become a Muslim. For you. You don't, you don't like the idea. Of course I do. It's just, I'm surprised. Uh, you don't have to do that for me. Well, that's because I love you. we'd have sex? I just thought it was a possibility, maybe, but we don't have to if you don't want to. But what if I do? Really? Yeah. You had the wrong ten. Nope. So, where are your little friends? They went to collect nocturnal specimens. Yeah. Uh-huh. Thought maybe you might be doing something interesting. But I'm not. So maybe you should go. I don't mind. You read your book. I'll, I'll just hang out. You're not going to give up, are you? Yates? Poker. Poker? Poker it is. That was my best net. I'm gonna get that boy good.
Was that supposed to be your poker face? You know, I'm not supposed to tell you I have a killer hand. Maybe I'm just happy to be spending time with you. Hey. What was that? Nothing. Nothing. Well, should we check it out? No, I'm sure it's fine. It's all good. Uh that was Allie. Uh it's a garter snake. Totally harmless. Yeah, man, I know. I thought it was a Mrs. Like a Rattler. What were you and Johnny doing? Playing poker. You were alone in a tent with a boy? Wait, what is going on? Everyone, go back to your tents. The, the tents you're supposed to be in, all right? Go back. Now, everyone, go. Faster, faster, faster. Come on. Kelly and I discovered we are compatible as friends or roommates because we are both organized and like high levels of excitement. But found that we would be completely incompatible as mates because we have very different goals. I oh, thank you. That's excellent work. Nelson and Santos. Um, <clears throat> I'm afraid we're not ready for our presentation. I see. And why would that be? Well, we got caught up in some supplementary research. I see. Mr. Supplementary Oscar, research. Party, He's failed us. Boys on the left, girls on the right. Sorry, I can't trust you after last night. You are not point tell dad. Give me one reason not to. We were just playing cards. Who cares what you were doing? You know what everyone thinks. What about you and Anya? What were you doing? You had your shirt off. Well, we're not talking about me and Anya. We're talking about you. I'm not an impure girl. People are going to think you are. They'll say you're not good enough for their family. Is that what you want? Yes, right. That's exactly what I want. We lost a whole letter grade. Now we have to work just as hard, and the best we can hope for is a B. What's that? Is that the sound of a very relaxed personality? Seriously, this is bad. We're here for school. We should never have gone down the Kelly Road. What? <sighs> oh, he's so cute. And we have to live with him. That's a lot of tension, right? Manny, what would be the harm in asking him for fun? Of course. Manny, no. And if he happens to like one of us, then we can make a mature decision on how to proceed. Look, if you're uncomfortable with that, I can just tell him I like him. Not if I tell him first. Uh, gu guys, the sock on the door? Oh, we should go. The sock. Yeah. <sighs> hey, I'll, I'll call you tonight. I wouldn't have thought you'd have anything to say to an impure girl. I wasn't talking about you. Well, you could have been. I was alone in a tent with a boy, just like Ali. It's not the same, though. Sure it is. We wanted to be together, and now, according to your double standard, I'm not good enough for you or your family. We don't get it. The sociological, psychological measures chapter. Me neither. No, you. I mean, you walk around here flirting with us, and then we find you making out with Gwyneth. What? Well, you're always so comforting and thoughtful. Like, what's that about? Being a good roommate. So you're not into either one of us like that? We're roommates, no dating. Wasn't that the deal? You're not answering the question. To be honest, you're a little scary right now. You're both fantastic. And yes, if it wasn't for the no roommate dating rule, I would definitely be into one of you. <laughs> I'm gonna go study at the library. I'll try to be a little less comforting and thoughtful when I get back. 
definitely into one of us. Which one? Oh, we can't go there. No. I've texted her 20 times since we got back. Nothing. She'll be here any second saying, oh, sad, let's never break up again. You see? I'm sorry if I pressured you. We can wait as long as you want. I, I just want to hang out with you. And I never got to play you my song. Women are equal to men. Well, yeah. So if what I did was bad, then you were just as wrong to be with me. I, I don't think you're bad. I'm sorry. I just meant... It's got everything you ever gave me in it. The CDs, the Stooge t-shirt, the poem, the bracelet, and stickers. Mm -hmm.